Okay, so my thoughts on consumerism and Black Friday, that's a fun question. Uh, um, you know, all the sales and buying all these, especially for men, buying all the technology, the computer, the gadgets, the half price discount stuff. And um, how does that tie in with spirituality and sort of temptation? Well, you know, that's an interesting thing, you see, because uh, I'm an addict. Uh, and one of the ways I act out with addiction is just buying things, uh, buying things to fill the emptiness, the God-shaped hole. So rather than connect to God, the ego goes, well, if you buy that half-price gadget from Amazon, then you're going to feel happy. And in truth, when, when I'm doing it from that place of lack and I'm trying to get some relief, then I will be happy for a while. I mean, I've bought so many bits of technology and I'm happy for about one week. Uh, and then usually um, uh, uh, what happens is it, it, it's like it, there's, I don't get any of the buzz out of it after about a week. So um, usually unless it's like uh, crazy and I'm buying stuff and I have no money to eat, then you know it's not usually anything that severe, and it's it's uh, a moderate enjoyment, I guess, in life to enjoy something temporary. I mean, it's the opposite of spirituality, where you're enjoying your eternal connection, internal connection to God, rather than trying to enjoy something that's passing or transitory, which can only give uh, give joy for a, sh a short period of time. Because by its nature, if you enjoy something that can come and go. How long can it satisfy you? It's not only going to satisfy you temporarily. And if you're empty, then it's not going to last very long before you, your ego will say you'll want another, another gadget and a better gadget. Um, so uh, so it goes. But, you know, some of these things can be mild and it's you could say it's just human to enjoy it. And I would say, you know, I mean, that's, that's not a problem unless it's a very severe addiction. If it's a severe addiction, you'll be spending all your money and you have no money to eat. And, you'll, and then you'll be stealing money to try and buy more gadgets. So that's quite, um, uh, that, that can be quite uh, miserable, really, if that's happening. Or if it gets to those levels, in which case you probably need to join one of those 12-step uh, groups to try and put a curve on it. Um, so, but what about um, gadgets? Is there a leg legitimate reason, like you're a photographer, and there's the best camera on half price in Amazon? Well. There can be a legitimate reason. It might be God trying to give you a half price camera so you can do God's work. So that could be possible. So it could be like you're praying and you're meditating and you're getting this vision that God wants you to be a great photographer in the world. And that's your way of bringing Godness and beauty and your skill as a photographer into the world. And that can be coming from your your gift in the world, rather than just using on technology for a cheap thrill, in which case, you know, God's implanting in you that your 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 job is to bring beauty and photo photography to the world, and then you suddenly see on Amazon there's a your your favorite camera is seventy percent off today, and you buy it, and then you you create all these lovely photographs. A lot of people get happy, and feel more connected to God and the divine. So in that way, um, you could say that's just, um, you're just uh, in flow with God and God's just bringing you cheap cameras to bring your gift, you know, and that, that's in alignment with spirit. So that would be, that wouldn't be consumerism. That would be being, you know, allowing the flow of the divine to, to move through you. And so you're not really buying for a cheap thrill. You're buying to serve, to serve the, the infinite. So that, that, that would be a difference. So everything depends on the level of consciousness. When you're at a low level of consciousness, you usually buy things for cheap thrill. You know, it get, keeps you happy for about 10 minutes and then you need some more. Uh, when you're already in the infinite, you don't really need the camera. You're already happy because you're in the flow. You're in those infinite states. So it's not going to make you happy, but you might buy the camera just to fulfill some kind of divine expression in you. So it's not really you're buying the camera to fill an emptiness. Uh, it's more like out of the nothingness, the camera is bought to fulfill a higher purpose. So that's a different, uh, a different level of conscious, consciousness, and that wouldn't be just a, a cheap spending addiction. Uh, not that I'm saying there's anything wrong with addiction. I mean, if people want to be in addiction, that's uh, you know that, that's their choice. 
Okay, I'll stop on that one, consumerism.